In this video, we're going over the new trader rule in Red Dead Online, how it works, and how to rank up fast. Hey, Calpo, Austin BMX here, and as we mentioned, we're going to go over the trader rule, how it works, and how you can rank up fast in Red Dead Online's new Frontier Pursuits update. So we played for quite a lot of time on the opening day of the update. About 11 hours actually, a total streaming the whole time. Did all the rolls, a lot of it was the trader. We got a rank all the way, just under rank 10. We're almost all the way to rank 10. We've unlocked quite a lot of stuff. Let's take a look at how it works and how we were able to do that. If you guys haven't unlocked the trader yet, it's pretty easy. Right when you get into Red Dead Online, go over to any post office, you'll have a letter from Crips. Read that letter, he'll tell you to meet at a specific grocery outlet. Meet him there, he'll give you the option to buy that. Here's what the trading menu looks like, and we're gonna go over that right now. There's a few things you need to know and keep up to date on how to get good flow of cash and XP with the trader roll. So once you get the butcher's table all loaded up at your camp, you just gotta go over to your camp and you'll have this new setup. You'll enter the butcher's table and talk to Crips. You'll have Crips Trading Company. You got three things to look at here. First, we have materials, production, and goods. So if we look at materials, that's how much material we have given or donated to Crips to create goods for us. This works on the same scale as the butcher. So if I bring a three-star buck to Crips, he'll give me 10 units to fill this materials bar just like if you went to the butcher you get ten dollars this fills this materials bar by 10 units so it's a really good idea to keep items fully intact and bring crips fully intact carcasses as much as you can because if we broke that buck down the only thing crips would want would be the skin and the meat and stuff we couldn't give him and we could go sell it to the butcher but we can get more credits in the materials bar if we gave him the whole carcass. It looks like this materials bar is about 100 units long. If you give him a buck, it it might be 200, nah, it, it might be 200 units long. We don't really know, we haven't really figured that out yet. It is quite large. If you give him a full three star buck, it gives you a little bit of a bar. It's definitely noticeable. So we'll have to figure out how big that is. The next part of this is the production. Production, the only thing you can do with that is to keep Crips supplied with supplies. That's exactly what it sounds like, right? There's two ways to do this. One that's okay, one that's fantastic. The one that's okay is just to pay 20 bucks every time you need supplies and he'll go get them. The second way is to actually go on supply missions. There's tons of different ways to do these, to go on these supply missions. Some of them you have to kill enemies. Sometimes you have to go find certain animals and bring them to another trader and he'll trade you with supplies but the best way to do this is to do these supply missions because you get massive XP in your trader role for those. If Crips has materials and production or he has enough operational stuff there, the tools he needs, he will be continuously making goods for you. You can it looks like you can hold up to a hundred goods in your barrels at any given time. Now, when you first start out, the only wagon you will have is a small wagon. That can hold 25 goods. So, once you get to 25, then you're going to want to go and do a delivery and go deliver those. There's two different ways you can do it. You can deliver short or long. And then, if you buy a medium wagon up to a larger wagon, it goes 25, 50, and 100. So, you can hold up to 100 goods, but you only can deliver 25 a time at the beginning. Once you get a medium wagon, you can deliver 50 at a time. Once you get a large wagon, you can deliver those whole hundreds at a time and make massive XP and money all at the same time. Now, like we stated, there is going to be uh, different routes that you can take. Depending on where your camp is, there's going to give you two options to make deliveries. A local or a distance. Local with a full cart gives you about 50 bucks. A long distance one gives you about $75. The long distance ones we did were from the Heartlands all the way to Van Horn, quite long. 
when you get there, every once in a while you'll have an ambush. Sometimes you won't have any ambushes at all. We went all the way to St. Anise sometimes and rolled right in. Once you get there, you just gotta take out the bad guys, bring your cart on in to the delivery location, and you'll get your cash and XP. Roll XP for these missions are just about 600. It's quite good. Ranks you up fairly fast. Another awesome thing is how this works with posses. If you have a posse member in these missions, they'll still get max XP and they'll get half the money that you get. So if I get $75 for making this delivery, your posse members will get about $35.40. That's pretty good money, all of them. We had a posse of seven running around during stream. I got $75 and every single one of them got 40 bucks. Now the best thing to do is use all those hunting tips that you get. Go hunting, get Crips all set up. When he's ready for a delivery, take that delivery. On your way back from the delivery back to your camp, do a whole bunch of hunting. When you get back to camp, usually you have to do a resupply run. Do that resupply run. When you get back to that, he'll have some more stuff made for you. Continual cycle, massive XP. Now one thing we did notice that is super awesome. If you have a posse going, those resupply runs, the posse was getting just as much XP as the posse leader. And the best ones are the resupply missions that you have to go pick up bags of material. Sometimes they're easy to pick up. Maybe another trading company has been missing and you go find some wolves and then pick up all their stuff. Or you might have to go get it from somebody and kill a bunch of bad guys. Now, if you have a large enough posse, four more people, you'll have four bags to pick up. When you, and no more than four. When you bring all four of those bags back, every time you bring a bag back, we were getting 625 XP each for bringing those bags back. We ranked up so much in our first day of play that I recommend you guys get into a posse and get out there and get these supply runs. All right, as we stated, we've ranked up quite a lot, as you can see. As we were aware, every single one of these ranks that you get, you get two coins. Even this one here, we got two coins. This is a trader event that we unlocked. We did see a new free room event pop up right before we ended stream on Tuesday that said Trader Route, but unfortunately it froze when we tried to log into it. Kind of glitchy, not quite working too well. Hopefully they get that fixed because that seems super awesome. And then we did rank up high enough to unlock everything in the promise scene as well. As you can see, we have our ingredient satchel. This is pretty awesome. This ingredient satchel upgrade actually covers everything in your ingredients pouch in your satchel, which includes all your plants and your meats. We can now hold 20 big game meat, 20 of all the other bird meats you can carry. We can hold 30 venison meat. That's pretty awesome upgrade. And it's super easy using these methods to get ranked up that high. Next one up, of course, we got awareness. This gives you awareness to rival trader wagons in an increased range. We got our canine warning for our dog. Of course, we got more coins. We did able to unlock our medium delivery wagon. We did a one. We did a couple deliveries with this. You just gotta wait till you're at that fit or over that 25 goods mark, and you get to take the larger wagon. We did do a 50, pretty close to a 50 good delivery. I, as the posse leader, made 160 dollars on that delivery. Everybody else in my posse, everybody, all six of them made over a hundred bucks for doing that delivery and and awesome xp tons of xp and money in the trader role jump in here and get it taken care of one thing to note that we weren't sure of and now we are is everything you can unlock down in these kits back here in the novice kit as well in the promising kit and we're almost to the established kit everything but one thing so far we've seen cost roll tokens to unlock and then it costs money to actually buy like this saddle we can unlock it for one token which we have 20 right now. We need to buy it for $525. Same thing with the outfit, the belt buckle, the horse, the freaking hammer. The stew pot costs 650 bucks, but it is a super awesome investment. The only thing we've noticed is thing coming up here. The weapons locker is actually free. Once you unlock it, all we had to do was go to the wilderness outfitters at our camp and equip that in the weapons locker is unlocked at your camp at your wardrobe that is free just have to get it unlocked that is super awesome that we found out today some other quick prices we can go through right now the medium wagon is 500 retail allows you to carry 50 goods on the next one established which we're almost to we'll get to that 
uh, today on stream. We have the large delivery wagon that can carry up to a hundred goods at a time, which I imagine a full delivery of that is probably close to 350 bucks in cash when you make a delivery on that. So two runs of that and you've paid for yourself. We also have the hunting wagon, which we're going to be purchasing too here pretty soon, but we'll be checking out that. We'll probably make a video on both of these when we get them unlocked because they both are super awesome. So I hope these tips help you out getting ranked up in the trader super fast. It definitely helped us. We were already almost at rank 10 just in one day, having fun with friends and getting ranked up and getting tons of stuff unlocked. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here for more Red Dead Online content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, and just good old-fashioned fun. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime, but until then, see you later.